Go Interactive with Kate. We're in Ladysmith today at the Lowman Gallery, one of my favorite little artistic spaces that we've had the pleasure of visiting in the past. Why are we here? Well, the Federation of Canadian Artists has a spring show coming up, and we're meeting three of the potential artists today. Come on inside. This is Claudia Lohman. This is her gallery. Absolutely beautiful space. Thank you for hosting us today. And this is your latest work, Appreciation. It Tell is. me about what you've done. Um, I'm celebrating my 20, being 20 years in Canada this year with my husband. And uh, I really had the urge to paint something which reminds me of Canada and how grateful I am to be here. So you see animals and uh, nature in this painting, all a little bit hidden, but uh, you can find a lot of images and even the maple leaf. Mm. And uh, so this is my thank you to Canada I'm be, said I can be here. Excellent. Well, we're glad that yes. you are here. How do you describe the style of your work? You've sort of coined a phrase. Imaginative geometric abstract. I love to have straight separation between the different colors and uh, I use a pencil to make this really sharp edge between the colors and um, you see circles and triangles and straight lines, all different geometric figures mm -hmm. and otherwise you have to use your imagination to see all the other things which are hidden in there. This is Unmi Konika. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Unmi Konika. <laughs> okay, and, and, and there is an R on the end of that. Exactly, so, okay. like in the pronouns, yeah, properly. Okay, so, so um, we're just having a little bit of fun, but there's certainly a, a seriousness to the caliber of your artwork, and in the last seven years you've moved from three dimension to two dimension. How has that process been for you? Uh, since I moved in Nanaimo about nine years ago, and I, I was quite, you know, enjoyed my midlife. And then I thought I was looking for a hobby to do, you know, enjoy myself. And then I realized that you know, painting seems like easy. Then I never looked back because, you know, just have a fun and challenging as well as rewarding, but sometimes painful. <laughs> <laughs> so I just keep doing what I love to do. So it's a quite rewarding process last few years. Yeah, and yeah. are you finding your, your balance in it? You're finding your groove, I think, clearly. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank All right, you. one more artist to look at out of about 65 that will be at the Dorchester at the end of the month. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me about the stories that you're, you're telling in your pieces. Um, well, the first one is, um, it's in our hands and it is, symbolizes our responsibility to look after our environment. That's something very important to you. It is, and, yes. Yeah. We yeah. have a seasonal one down here. That's my Christmas Mandela, and uh, it's called Peace on Earth, and it's various religions and um, nationalities that are united in peace and love. So this one's walking on the moon, you said? It's and Moonwalker. Moonwalker. Yes. These three artists that we've met today could be, if they make the juried process, participating in the Brush with Spring show that takes place at the Dorchester Hotel starting on Friday, May the 29th from 1 until 5, and then following through the rest of the weekend, May 30th and 31st from 9 until 5. You can get full details on the website. And this is the perfect place to look and get distracted by colors because it's so beautiful. I just love it. dream of sadness, fear, and sea. Now I see the world around me. There's so much beauty to be found if you only look around. You'll see that hope is waiting. Today I'm at Dove Creek Studios and I'm recording an album project. It's called Oblivious and it's about a 10 song album project. It's original songs that I've written and we're putting the bed tracks down. We've got some local musicians coming in as well as from other parts of Canada. The album for me represents uh, what I've gone through in my personal life. Um, I had a 20 year relationship that ended and so there's been a lot of heartache and turmoil that I've gone through as well as healing and finding hope after you've gone through such a tragedy. And so the songs that I've written kind of reflect that and I hope that when people listen to the tunes that they will also be inspired to um, make it through whatever it is they're going through and find that there is hope, there is life after 
um, something like that, and you can make it, you can keep going. You are gone so long, baby. Even though we're here at Dove Creek Studios for a couple of days to do the bed tracks with the musicians, it's not over by any means, we're just beginning, and then there's a whole other process that has to take place with the mixing and all of that. That does bring us to the end of this edition of Go Island, but not the end of exploring Nanaimo. You can pick up your Explore Nanaimo passport right here at the Visitor Info Center at Northfield Road where it meets the highway, or come on down to the cruise ship Helijet Terminal on June the 5th. There will be a cruise ship in that day. Tourism Nanaimo is on site, giving you an opportunity to spin a wheel, win some prizes, make a good impression on our guests, and just capture all the energy that is a culmination of National Tourism Week that runs May 31st until June the 6th. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island and we'll see you out and about exploring our beautiful city. Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Center, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.